I'll be back.
Hey there, guys. Welcome, everybody. How's it going? Exocraft, Lizzie, Grunstein, Eddie, how's it going? Um, we're having a few technical difficulties, um, apparently with the stream as well. I don't know why OBS is not picking up Factorio. Would be real nice if it did. For God's sake, come on, man. Pick up Factorio. Okay, there's that, but I don't want you to do that. My well, good news is that Detroit and Shelly Vinks are both up. I think the other nodes are as well. Um, yeah, so we're having a few technical difficulties with Clustorio, but we're working it out. So I'm just going to talk to you guys for right now. Um... I hope everybody is having a good Friday. I think things are booting back up as we speak, so we should be back in soon. And we may, if all goes well, have power transfer. Uh, between servers operational, which would be fantastic. Uh, okay, let's see what all's up. And we have updated to 1641 as well, so let's see. Uh, most of these nodes look like they're up, um, but there's multiples, so I think they're, uh, they're still trying to reboot some of them here. Uh, I'm going to hop in the voice chat with them and uh, see what the heck's going on. I'll be back. And how you can, how your computer doesn't run the script for Python. Thank you for the follow there. Um, Kyra Brownback, as well as Pursuit X and Mark Tenson as well. Hey, Flattop, how's it going? I was streaming whilst an update was scheduled because it got scheduled whilst I was streaming. Oh yeah, don't you love when that happens? You, it took a, it took a string of words and condensed it down, um, forming a dictionary, and the word order. So if you had a lot of repetitive words, it would make the message much shorter. Yeah. That's the best I've done in one line. Switch of thirty deep water horizons do I take? We can visit, sir. So you guys broke stuff, huh? What's the name of the new? Azure Europe and Azure North America should be the new servers. And what's the, the, the red chip map called? I am not sure yet. I haven't been told. I have been hinted it might be one of the iCraft nodes getting it, or servers. But that's all I have. I'm basically sitting with the node graph in front of me, trying to figure out what node get or what server gets one more node, and how the hell I'm going to redo that in like ten minutes. Are we on an updated version of Factorio or still normal? Should be dot forty one now. Okay. So that's where there was only three things showing up. Yep. You also need to update Clustorio while you're at it. Yep. And as far as I know, there's no update to RSO, which since I've said it now, should update in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Probably. That happens all the time. So, you guys really it's not going to update. Stuff. It's not going to update in 30 seconds. It's going to update in 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and 3 minutes. And then 14 <laughs> hours. <laughs> yep. Yes, Exterminator. Um... Okay, it looks like stuff is still rebooting, because I'm seeing, like, four versions of every server. Uh, oh, no, no, that's the uh, new um, feature. Yes. That's, that's the new, new parody. Feature. Oh, did we just, like, quadruple all of our stuff? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, it's to ensure the fact we get 60k science done. <laughs> I mean, yes. we all have half, all, almost half that, so... Yep. Well, the new servers are not 
in the browser. Mages and Galea, for example. Mm, not all the <laughs> It's been one minute, there's Vegas. still electricity in the cloud. <laughs> Wait, what? It's in the chat. Somebody was complaining about the fact that there isn't any uh any power. I mean there are three. Three electricity. That's our new measurement. Three? Next three. Three. Yeah. Three. Yeah, three. Somebody, 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 somebody needs to make a mod where you have like batteries or whether it's lithium or like rechargeable batteries with or like alkaline batteries. Which you can just ship, like we could put them in this Clusterio cloud and they can power and you can kick the power out of them and put them in, etc. The problem there is you can't currently send uh, item information, which is why blueprints get wiped the moment they hit the cloud, and okay. why your wonderful power armor gets um, um, cleaned out effectively. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that, okay. Surely what you're thinking of then would be closer to putting steel barrels in. Uh, hey there, Beach Gup. What's going on? Doing good, looking forward to another stream. Glad to hear that. So we are on CERN. Uh, I want to see what got done here. Uh, there should be... I started this. My inventory is full of stuff, apparently. I started this, and we needed seven of these double columns. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks like. Theoretically, there should be 14 assemblers across. Which there is, so if someone did this perfectly, I was a little bit worried about that. And holy hell, why do I have all this stuff? That is way more than 200 beacons, good lord. Uh, okay, sweet, so purple's done. It looks like high tech has actually not been done. Military has been. I'm not sure if military's actually finished, though. Uh, yes, I'm not sure if it's actually finished. The fluoride sounds extremely bad in all the ways, including yeah, three. I don't we know. We haven't found actually. A way I would to expect that lithium fluoride is, isn't doing much. That would be the highest energy density per um, mass, which isn't pure electron. Yes, if I know my chemistry right, um, lithium is one of the metal that is easiest to oxidize by a fair margin, and, um... You are? No, that's, uh, uh, oxygen. Actually, um, it looks like high-tech has been done, but in an entirely different manner. Which is fine. Uh, I mean, that's... It does 60k. It's doing 60k. It's bot-based. I can't complain. Uh, there's definitely some charging issues, maybe. Uh, but that means all science is done. Doing 60k a minute. Boom. Unless unless military is not actually done yet, which is entirely possible. This is not inserting for some reason, I'm guessing, because it's full. Uh, so this is fantastic. Um, we actually have nuclear here as well, I think. It, it does appear to actually be powering something. I think they did that because we were just having major solar problems. Uh, I think we added two worlds to actually do power in and do power transfer. I'm not sure. Um, we do now have these items. These are get electricity and put electricity. So why do I keep getting all this crap? Um, so this get electricity it has an energy capacity of 10 gigajoules, maximum output of 1 gigawatt per... And then this one obviously has a maximum input of one gigawatt per. So this hasn't been tested extensively. It's entirely possible this will break. I'm not sure. Um, I need to get rid of all this crap. I don't know why I keep having so much of it. Well, I, I did kind of need like that many belts, but... I don't need this many assemblers, game. Basically, we killed half the solar build build. Yeah, uh, that that is true. Wind's falling back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how unstable the element is to begin with. <sighs> uh, 
I love how I've just I, been, I love how I've just brought up all this by doing like by just talking about it. This is what always what happens. You know what we'd really, really want to make our batteries out of? Quarktanium. What? Quarktanium. Oh, yeah. That sounds bad, but I'm not sure why. <laughs> because it's massive made out of strange Wait. quarks. Why specific strange quarks? Because they're Is better for it. Is it like a quantum? A quantum? Yes, it's quantum shit. Quantum shit. I know quantum shit. If we have quantum shit, we can break uh, security. Wouldn't like an up about better views then you actually wouldn't like three ups be better because then you actually have like a positive to charge. No, actually, electron density is better because quarks are much heavier than electrons, and they contain maximum two thirds the. Um, and you can see. So, is it confirmed that we do have power worlds added, or have we not added those? I haven't added yet them. I'm going to add them when I confirm the current cluster is working. So, yeah, it's going to be done in half an hour. Okay, cool. No worries. So I'm beginning to get the distinct feeling that all of the uranium we're refining on the Nexus is going to have a reason to exist. Oh yeah. Nuclear servers all the way, man. Looks like it's actually still working. I'm surprised. Well, Nexus appears to be working fine. No, I mean... Still well, working. I'm getting five Chalabinks, so... You're guessing five what? what? Five chalabink, chalabinks. What? What? What is that? Uh, listen, smell. Two Detroits, two Chinas. Oh. Why is two Gongzo? Yeah, I'm just getting five chalabinks. Yeah. Yeah, no I saw little of stuff too. I suppose that's one way to increase efficiency and throughput. We run them in parallel. <laughs> yeah, there you go, no problem, I mean, right? that does help our UPS, if we run them in parallel. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, 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 we're surviving on 4k solar per minute. Seems reasonable. Yeah, but 4k solar panels per minute. Not entirely sure if the... How? What? Oh no! <laughs> what? Well... Oh, what? Eh? Huh? Each get electricity? Thing seems to have a maximum output of one gigawatt, so I assume we will need multiples on each server. Yeah, we'll need like 20 on each server. I need an adult. What'd you do? I, th I think. Actually, I'm not quite sure. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure if maybe. The steel smelting on blue blue thing something something is broke because the first looks like the at least the first all order is overloaded as in the trains can't clear the stations. Hmm, that's not good. Because uh, the track is full.
Yeah. And matchmake. Oh, okay. Finally. Couldn't be one train trying to leave. I mean, we're doing direct insertions, so the iron chest doesn't have to, has to run full time, I guess. Oh, yeah. Not sure about this. Oh, Holy wow. shit! <laughs> Someone vacuuming their microphone out? Either that or, uh, or making yeah, the codes into the wall yes. next to the microphone. Someone's need of server mute. Who did it? He's getting a mute for uh, 24 hours at least. I did not get but... a chance to see who did it. I saw who did it. They muted immediately. It was probably someone, not them, doing something near them without warning them. Yeah. That's probably... I think it's wrong to harm or... Um... It's yeah. wrong to punish a user for something they could not directly change, and they took the best possible action as soon as they could. And, and let's face it, that was a pretty damn quick mute. Yeah, that was a really quick <laughs> mute. It, it was. It was less than three seconds. I, I mean, I wasn't having... I wasn't finished with shouting and was muted, so... Yep. Can't hate that. Sounded like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I think someone was, like, vacuuming. That's probably what happened to someone, like... They're some a roommate or significant other or parent or something came into the room and started vacuuming. My mom used to do that. It's quite frustrating. <laughs> I know I know I know that feeling. Um so this I think is not gonna be great. I wanna test it, uh but I'm interested in kind of what this will give here. I, I don't think it's gonna be very great because the bot's going to be flying like these diagonal paths but we'll see we shall see what we can do here um looks like we're missing beacons that's an easy fix uh this world is probably about maxed out i would imagine mom is not a roommate i didn't say she was ng Uh, all right, let's uh, we need we need some materials and I need to trash some stuff uh, So let's go ahead and request some beacons. This thing takes 200 let's get some Okay, I don't need furnaces because I have those left over um, Let's make sure we have like 100 inserters at any one time. I do not need a hundred radars I Do not need any copper plate or wood uh, beacons and now there's something else. What was the other thing I needed? I don't recall. Power poles and robo ports. Right. Let's get some robo ports and like 100 power poles, and we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't think this is going to be very good, but I'd like to test it. And then nuking every single rail loop you find. Yes. Why spend the time nuking it when you can just remove it with a uh, deconstruction planner and place down a corrected blueprint quicker than the nuke takes to reach it? I do not want rail that has been used for a loop in the system. <laughs> the moment a rule, uh, rail is removed, it's cleaned. It's, it's removed of all sin. Of all taint. No. Yes. It's not Some sin can not be cleaned. It is heresy. It must be purged. Anyway, no night. Have fun. By fire be purged. Alright, see you. Yeah. Oh wait, I did not want these beacons, damn it. Uh I don't know. How much making server is being 
so bad. I just figured it out. It's a non-web developer mistake of 101. Do not ever, ever, under any circumstances, do requests basically in the loop. What happens is uh, they load the game list, and then each time you click on a game, it goes to the server for its details. Every single click. Wait, so that's why there's like multiple... So, no, no. It, no, it's not the, the multiple servers of all... If they, I don't know what's happening with that, but yeah, that's... It's the basic... Basically, the idea here is that uh, they should load... With the whole list of games, they should also load all the game info, like the description, the mods, the... What players are there, and just update that list on an interval like they do. But what they do, they not only update the list of games on an interval, but every time you click on a server to see, you know, to connect, to get the address for it to connect and all that, it does a, a next request. And that means that uh, when people are just scrolling, just browsing through the servers and just clicking, that sends a shitload of requests. So if someone just sits there and like clicks every single server, that's a, no, I can do maybe two, three requests a second just by clicking through the old ser all the servers. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, and and I would guess that in the evening just uh, so many people come on, to, to so it just gets overloaded. Yep, that would make sense. Yeah, this is this is definitely not something you do. These these types of things you always preload that data with the main request. Because yeah, that's just unnecessary requests times I don't know how much, but definitely not a small number. Mm, plastic seems to be dead. <laughs> like remember remember you were just that's... looking at the yeah, you at the list check. of the games when you uh, decided where to go, you just were clicking on each server on the stream, like click, 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 don't want to go here, and don't want to go here, oh, here's a lot of people, join. <laughs> you basically loaded the game list like five, seven times at that point. Oh, and we geez. are missing... Wait, is that easy to break? Um. It seems like Lego is not up yet. Oh, yeah, it seems like Lego is missing. I was about to say maybe we are missing code, but it's just Lego missing. Yeah, it's the entire server missing. I think that's the only server making plastic, right? That is the only mm -hmm. server making plastic. I built it myself. It is indeed. <laughs> okay, and Lego. Yeah, like so no red circuits, so no new power electricity thingies. Yeah, yeah no plastic have. means no red circuits. Yes, because the new power thingies need red circuits. Oh. Yes, I want to know what's the new... I'll be back. Red circuit notice. I got promised one. Uh, Alright, so... Look, uh, that bot speed, I love watching it. Yeah. So looking at this, um, there, as I figured this wouldn't work great, um, because... With these chests here, all the bots are going straight towards it. Like this, so there's these massive charging problems here. Uh, this could be solved a couple ways. We could add more chests. Uh, to spread out the load. Uh, so that's one option. However... I'm not convinced that's the best option. I don't know though. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is clear that out, because this actually should be copper, not uh, not iron. And all this stuff needs to move. OK. 
Game. Stop it. And uh, thank you so much for that follow there. Uh, Crashus, how are you doing? Man, chat seems pretty quiet today. Uh, I, I do want to test this bit, though. See if this will work. Uh, these requests need I'll to be, be changed back. to copper. So let's go ahead and get that going. Boom. 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 And then those should all be fine. Just need to get this all powered up. I don't think that's going to help much, but we'll see. Make some noise. Loud noises. Noise. Oh, boss speed is insane. Hey, geez, man. Third, 3,000 bits. Geeson, thank you so much. <laughs> Loud noise. Thank you so very much for that. That's so generous of you. Thank you very much, Geeson. Wow. Geeson. Transfixed by the flurry of activity in the turbo bots. I don't blame you. On each side instead of grouping them. Um, what do you mean on each side? Like the outsides? Like out here? Oh, you mean one like here and one like here? Or switching... Oh, I see. I think I see what you mean. I see. Yeah, that would actually be better, wouldn't it? That would be better. That's a very good point. Let's uh let's go ahead and change that then. Let's grab you. And we'll tear this up. And we'll tear that up. So then this one. It's really annoying that the like graphics don't line up. Because the hitbox lines up, but this graphic like doesn't line up with that one. It's really <laughs> It's really a little bit frustrating. Um, the real question is... All right. If that is here, do we want this one here? Or do we want to swap them? So those are both on the inside. I'm not sure. Uh, this, again, is going to require some testing. Uh, but we first need some chests. Put, get put, yep. 300 bits is so much. Yeah, it's so generous, Jason. <laughs> Jason, that's so nice, man. And uh, your butcher, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. I very much appreciate it. Welcome. Well, symmetry. Well, yeah, symmetry would help. Already top tier with 3100. Well, top, top tier currently. Uh, he Scythe is the top tier lifetime. Um, okay, so if we now change this to a thousand and a thousand see this is what we don't want this thing's all set to iron this is a bit of a pain Screw you, man. Let me walk through here. It's not that hard to reset. A little bit annoying. Because then these single ones need to be... a different request amount, because there are not two inserters pulling from it. That's why it's double. Yo, let me walk. Holy hell. Okay, so that's one side. See, this is what we don't want, though. We don't want this cross travel. How much is that straight display using UPS? Um, not too much. Hey there, Joy the Cat. Hey guys, had a constant commentator to set the ore type. Um, I thought we did too. Did that get removed? 
It may got it may have gotten removed in this blueprint. Mel, there's one of the um, mining worlds you've got to look at. Just the amount of trains they have there is insane. Ooh, hmm. Which world is this? Uh, it's the newest mining world we have. I don't know what that I is. Can't rem I can't remember its name, but it has the shortest playtime if you type search mining. Blue something? Possibly. No. Blue no, blue is something. This is spelling. Oh. Uh, backward hell? Maybe. I'll check in a minute once I just put these signals down. Hell or Klandafu? That's the... I know it's not Hell, because there was no biters there. Hell should have biters. No, I said I know it's not Hell because there was no biters there. Oh, uh... I'll be back. Heaven or Shire, probably. You mean Shire. Yeah, yeah Shire. Shire's a new one. It's not that new actually, it just wasn't running for most of the time. It seems not to be online actually. I um I don't think I've I haven't been to a mining world in a long time. Definitely check that out. Oh, if you're streaming this, your streamers are gonna love to see Shire. Yep. My viewers. Shire is a funny name from mining server. That I was a little bit confused by that as well. Have you read the book? Because this is not in the movies, but in the books, Saruman is actually, is, or, yeah, he's escaped not to the Saruman. Shire. No, okay, and his uh, dude, uh, Wormtongue. Yeah. He's, he's, esca he's escaped to the Shire after Saruman dies, and they started fucking up the Shire. <laughs> I, wow, yeah, that was definitely not in the movies. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Sure, it doesn't appear to be online yet. No. Oh, they decided it didn't really have any functional value to the movie to include in the movie, so I guess that makes sense. But they included everything else in the movie that had no functional value. Uh, no, it's the hobby you're thinking of that had no functional value. Uh, yeah. <laughs> probably. Like, I'm probably in an unpopular opinion here, but I just watched Three Hobbits and Three Lord of the Rings. I actually kind of enjoyed the Hobbit movies more. They are great movies for just to entertain you. Mm -hmm. It's just they're diverging, especially Hobbits, so much from the books. That's the I think that's the. I mean, I, I kind of like all of them. Uh, my family has this weird ritual where we'll watch uh, all three of some of the things every Christmas. So we watch we all too. of it. Yeah, and all of the background material and everything. Not, so that's that, awesome. not so much. We watch yeah. all, all six usually and for... No, we usually the, watch either Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, not both. <laughs> the For the Lord of the Rings ones, we usually start skipping the throw scenes in the second and third movie, <laughs> most huh. of them. <laughs> because they're kind of boring, to be honest. Which parts? The Frodo scenes, most oh, of them. Oh, yeah. God, wait, some kind of casuals. Let me guess, you don't watch every single Star Wars movie in chronological order, and you don't watch every single Marvel movie every time a new one comes out. No, I don't. I watch the Marvel movies. They yeah, but you watch them all in chronological order every time a new one comes out. No. <laughs> you I don't think you'll physically have enough time to do that. Well, do they keep but making for the next there, 20 years? Probably movies. not. Yeah, probably not. Although, I have to say, there's been a lot of the spoilers for the um, end of Ultron everywhere. No, sorry, the end of Infinity Wars everywhere. I haven't that's seen one that's yet. Why I, that's why I don't. Or at least I haven't that. Uh, recognized it as such. No, it forms a sort of inside joke. This is why I'm saying there has been without saying what they are. 
it's a, it's a clever uh, spoiler. Yeah. Everyone who knows it knows it's a spoiler, but anyone who doesn't doesn't understand. And that's oh. awesome. Okay. It's like the um, triangle with the circle and the line from Harry Potter, how they would have the line broken. As a reference to Harry snapping the ones at the end of the movies. Oh, and you did. Wow. Awesome. You Spoilers. explain one spoiler by using another. <laughs> wow, man. What if no one's here has seen Harry Potter? Like, good going. You've had 10 years to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, no excuses. I'm sorry, but there's a grace window, and the grace window does not extend until the next decade. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like you're getting angry if I spoil the fact that Darth Vader is secretly Luke's father. Wait, what? Well, I mean, he says that, like... <laughs> yes, but he might be lying, but we didn't know that until the prequels came out. That is true. Um, so Wait, Shire Sword is not up, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem so. Damn. It doesn't appear to be up. I don't know if Sword could go on. Anyway. Somebody commented on it. I think share, share is just not updated because the guy can't do it for some time. He's at school. But he was on earlier when I was talking to him running it. Yeah, well, I sent the notification to everyone, but he's not online at the moment. So some servers will be come up maybe later. Okay. Or is it only the share who, which is missing? Well, there's quite a few missing. Yeah, right if now it's the problem is the get chests. Deals. What about the get chests? It don't seem to be working probably on some servers. Uh oh. No, it should be. Um, we updated everything to everything it has single version of. They're broken on the yeah. second belly. And which one? Perfect. The get chest don't do anything. Put chests do work then, but get chests don't. Yeah, Lego had also some problems, I don't know if they... I was just using on Mustafar and they worked. Yeah, I was just on Lego, it just, uh, there was a signal. Check the signals, someone uh, again messed, uh, messed with the signals. Um, but on Lego? Higgins Moon. Wow. Wow. These ore patches. Which one are you going while at? Uh, Higgins Moon. Dear Lord. How insane is it? Insane. Damn it, with these internet speeds, I'm definitely not gonna stream for the next three weeks. Get? Oh no. Damn it. Yeah, I just can't. Barely upload, download, and develop at 300 kilobytes. Yikes. Oh, I'm just gonna chill out, I guess, and explore worlds until we can get the power worlds up and running. That's what I want to work yeah, on. Yep, I'm, I'm. Oh, the old patches at Higgins are tiny. Now. Tiny? Well, which world yeah. would you consider big patches? Uh, Shire. What? The mining on 11G patch. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, yeah. richness. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like, physical size. They're about the same size. I don't actually know the physical size of the servers, but I'd pick the one with the most cores and the most RAM. Huh? Server joke. Oh, uh, server joke. <laughs> physical size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What mod is being used for the huge clean patches of resources? Um, we're using RSO for these because vanilla would never generate this. And not not just RSO, but also tweaked uh, settings from defaults. Mm -hmm. Okay, Higgins Default needs a bit of a rework for the stations because right now there's only that little tiny one that's producing um ore in the copper and um iron apartment. What, you mean it needs more stations? Yeah, we only have those little tiny ones that I'm stood by. Um, I'm gonna try to find you, geez. Yeah, let me change my color. That was grey. Yeah, I'm gonna do East Exterminator. 
installations by us. I don't even know where I am. Oh. <laughs> there's like so much stuff on this map. Okay, I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's only two. Yeah, that's it for iron and copper. Ooh, yeah. Actually, there's not much room to expand here. Mm hmm. Hmm. There's room to expand the copper one, kind of. Although not really. No, I'm thinking of um, rebuild it to below the stone stations. Trying to Just find go for it. Make some nice big stay trains um, northeast of us. Oh. That would probably work, yeah. Uh, FEX, wouldn't this whole thing be more UPS friendly if you would use the Omega Drill mod? Uh, yeah, it would also be more UPS friendly if we just used cheat mode. Like, we're trying to keep this as vanilla as possible. Adding mods like that would be equivalent to, like, adding Bob's modules because it would be more UPS efficient. Well, then we can start playing in creative mode. Well, exactly. <laughs> That's my point to that question, is once you start adding mods like that, then you might as well just use creative mode. I mean... Yeah, Le Lego doesn't work because there's enough plastic in the cloud right now, so... Yeah, it's, I think... Look, look in the gadgets if there is enough gold in it or something. No, the gadgets on Lego are broken, I heard. They I'm cannot trying. be online. I'm on Lego. You will it's, see. It's just limited by the fact that there is no, there is enough stuff in the cloud. Well, wait, doesn't Lego make plastic? Yeah, it does, and it's in the put chests are just limited by the fact. It's their circuitry that says that if there is more than X, it doesn't do anything. Right, so it's not doing anything, right? It's it's magic. If it's less than 80, uh, 800,000 in the network, it starts and goes until there's more than 1.2 million. And then it stops. Um, as far as I can see, all the get chests are completely broken. They don't do anything. Tell what servers. What server? Um, what is this, the Red Circuits one? Silicon Valley, we know that. Yes. That ah, it's okay. broken. Yeah, Red Circuits, which is that name. Main clinic. At Silicon Valley. Yeah, but I think that also on the uh, CERN, I was just on CERN earlier, and they seemed to all be working. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Silicon Valley is not under my control. Well, the weird thing is that Silicon Valley is not making any red chips, but red chips are being added to the to the to the cloud. Well, then, not sure well, then, by well, what. Yeah, then where are they coming from? Witchcraft. Detroit, apparently, according to the graphs. Well, Detroit shouldn't be making those. I'll s no. 5k per minute. 5k per minute? Okay. No, that's not very much. Yeah, it's only a very small build, but it's, it's something. Wait, did you fi find my 5k build on Detroit? What I did just uh, for testing purposes. For now, I should keep it until Silicon Valley has been fixed. Yeah, that's what meant for the new Red Circuit server. Yeah, so, so by the way, uh, yeah, if 
So is someone on Silicon Valley right now? Just uh, help them. Pl place a random get chest, please. Get a random item. If it doesn't work, then yeah, I think it's the. I, I, uh, I tried that uh, five minutes ago and it didn't work. I also okay. tried to connect it via the Hodge network. It also didn't work. Well, I. <clears throat> well, I message the server owner, but I don't know when he, if he's here or not. Listed as being online, but doesn't react. Wait, Snowcaps, are you... Is this going to be one train, this huge line of things? Uh... The train is going to be a 10... Which, what am I going for again? Let me split down and then work out how big it is. Well, because, I mean, it has to fit on the current ore patches, right? Or is this not an ore... Yeah. Isn't... Th Actually, let's go over 1020 design. But but none of the ore patches are built for that, right? Yeah, well, we, only have, don't work. we only have extremely small iron patches so far, so I was going to build for some bigger iron patches and coal. No bigger iron copper. Okay. Okay, so you were just gonna tap like new patches all together. Also, uh, the person who said that adding Bob's modules would be cheaty, I was like, are you sure? Because there might be specific Bob's materials. No, and it also turns out very cheaty because they only need like one. Speed module three only needs one speed module two. Yep. While in normal it takes four. What does it take? Like? It takes four. Pretty much. So that's super, super cheating. But if you play with it from the start with the other Bob's mods, then it's... Yeah, it's a bit Normal? Different. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Fluffy, you're, you're, di we're, you're just gonna tap <laughs> new ore patches, right? Yeah, that was kind of the plan. Okay. Just pretty much tap some new ore patches all together because let's face it. Why not? The ore patches we have here are tiny. Okay, I'm gonna to need to add more fuel to this train. <laughs> I mean, we're not exactly hurting for ore, but <laughs> Well, the server's kind of producing at a joke rate compared to everyone else. True. Actually maybe we are hurting for. Ore. All right, well if you're gonna do these long trains, um Perhaps we could do direct mining into trains? Well, Factory just broke my GD. I'm not so sure we're hurting for ore so much as it's set to a limit of 10 million. It's set to a limit of 10 million, but oh. the server is providing an incredibly small amount of that limit. Right. Um, but copper is not so good, though, if that's also supposed to be at 10 million. Yeah, so copper may be something we want to focus on first. Yeah. All right, well, with these super long trains, I think, I feel like direct mining... Okay, why not then? Yeah, would be cool, because we have enough productivity now to do that. As long as we can manage an insane level of potential throughput, all is good. Yep, we should be able to. Just beacon it, speed beacon it, and with the productivity we have, it'll be pretty ridiculous. Guys, check Silicon Valley, please. Yeah, I'm on Silicon Valley now. It's still broken. Service not responding. 
I'm just getting yeah, flat out Factorio yeah. not responding. Yeah, no, we are debugging it right now, so don't join the second level problem. 29 cardio wagons long. Wow. Wait, it's 29. Damn, that means I've missed one. Yeah, I may have miscounted. I'll try again. Um, I think I, I think it's 29, yeah. Okay, means I need to move the station up by one. I'm not sure. Well, this even this may actually be bigger than the ore patch. Uh, we kind of want them to be slightly longer than the ore patch for wagons. True. All right, I'll move this station up. Maybe. Okay, check level. Uh, what is cross server? What is a cross server base? Um, yep, it's one short. Got nukes. It's anyway, uh, station's gonna need to go up by two. Using Clustorio, it allows us to basically build a base across multiple servers because it transfers items notes over the cloud. Report, please. There's some info about it. Yeah, and was. Lego seems to be working. Yeah, must must key issue the copy and stuff. No. Server copied the key wrong. Hey, Penguin, how are you doing? Have we upgraded versions since last night? Or yep. last morning for the people? What, what, what version are we on now? 41. 41. And Clustorio needs updating. Thanks. Yeah, that was long enough now. Oh, I'd said we need to move the station up a one more as well. I think it it's gonna misalign stuff, I think. Where's the grid? There's a little bit. <clears throat> really glad I didn't hook up the flip flop system last night. <laughs> yep. Would have been pain if it got broken and barely even open. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about just keeping the template down. <laughs> so if it breaks, I can fix it more easily. No way I easily have this all in my head. And silicon valley. Wait, wait, wait. We need to go from the upper end. Yep, okay. Um, this okay. is Higgins Moon. And thank you so much for the bits, the Penguin. Appreciate it. Terrain -wise. Absolutely massive desert and called it June. Cliffs and water. All of it. Wait, for what? Power world. Power world? No. Power world. No cliffs. And very I, big I, I am for the dune theme. 
Yeah, I like that. The what? Dune? Yeah. Yeah, so but no cliffs. I like it. <laughs> no, the cliffs was a joke. So basically sand everywhere. But sand we, only. We do want water. Unless we plan to take water in from the cloud, which is what we need to decide. Cloud water. Very, very big water, medium sand. Water with high frequency. Does it work? Oh god damn it. I thought we wanted only cloud water because it raises the efficiency of the reactors. Yes. I mean, yeah, it uh, how many reactors are we going to need again? Hundreds upon hundreds. I thought someone yes. said like 2,000 in total. If we didn't have any other power, that is. Yeah, so... Getting water from the cloud would save a lot of pipe entities, essentially. Yeah, so a lot of UPS saved yes. there. I mean, we can do, if we're having two power worlds, we could do one of each. We could do one with water and one without. Uh, to be honest, if you had a power word, the power power server that was uh, completely super flat map with no cliffs and no water, then uh, even making solar wouldn't really be that much of a pain. No, but I mean, yeah, nuclear. The yeah, yeah, at least for one power word wa was to have it actually desert flat without anything. Um, have... Nuclear in the telegrid and test that outside of solar. Oh, sure. Makes sense. So I'll be back. Sand without uh, any water, right? Correct. Sand. Just sand. Water in the starting zone. Yeah, starting zone. Um, no cliffs. No trees. Yeah, no trees. <laughs> Just sand. Sand forever. People... People it, talk it, about it, how we potentially cheat with this mod. This is potentially cheating mod. <laughs> what is? Generating a server that fills our needs feels kind of cheaty. Well, why? I mean, it's in the game options. Like, it's no different than just generating world. After world, after world, after world, after sure. world. Trees. We do also need to generate a world filled with trees called... Saying they're coarse and rough and the bark gets all over for nuclear power. <laughs> um, Matthew SP, thank you for the follow. Welcome. How you doing? Um, do we are we out of modules in the cloud completely? I think we are. I think I'll check. I'll check on. Is broken, I think. Yeah. Oh no, we have nine thousand. Why is this world not importing them then? Name of the world, please. It's probably the same issue as with Lego. Higgins Moon. It, it they may just not be in the in the circuit settings. Okay, Higgins Moon is iCraft. No, don't worry about it. I got it. It just wasn't in the circuit settings. Yeah, okay. I thought it would have been, but apparently not. Is that the standard model thing? The one I went around Ooh, the best Demons have some, has some major power problems right now. Like, half of the things are turned off and it's still running out of power at night. Which world? Siemens and module world. Oh. Well, once we get a power world up, that should be fixed pretty easily. Just need to create a whole ton of reactors in nuclear parts. Hopefully, Nexus is working on that or something. It is. What does the electricity in the cloud mean? Like, is it gigawatts stored? Or what? I think probably joules. Joules, okay. Probably, I don't know for sure. Aren't they the same? One joules. One is the measure of energy, the other is the amount of energy. One's energy, one's work. Yes. So yeah. 
not the same. Yeah. What is joule per time? Yeah, joule per second. Okay. That's why kilowatt uh, watt hours are the same as joules. Pretty much. In terms of what they describe. <laughs> so many robo ports. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is too cheaty to generate a world like without that's just perfect. I don't know. I'm not saying We've that I wouldn't. Time in cliff purgatory. I'm not saying that we shouldn't do it. I'm just saying that that's kind of bordering to what people would call cheating. True. More so than just having all of it spread out. That is true. Although, like someone just said, I think. I think we've suffered enough in cliff and tree and water purgatory. Uh, so, that so, is basic, true. so basically both maps without uh, what, minimal water in the starting area and everything else, right? Sure. Or we want or we want one water world, uh, the other is land. Yeah, I think we want to do that in case someone wants to try nuclear with water in the world. I'm going to go find us a copper patch. Okay, I'll finish getting these stations set up. Okay. Need to find the biggest one possible. Hmm, some of these are going to be actually quite hard to access. What about up north? There are two 1.4 gig ores together. By the stone? Um, like if you go north, um, before the I'll be back. two bends. Oh, I see. Um, well, the one on the right would work. I'm I'm wanting one that's like the biggest physical size as possible. But that one, that one would work probably, because we need to be able to fit. How many cargo wagons? Thirty cargo wagons on this. We don't have to fit the thirty cargo wagons on it because they're going to be leaving the station. They're filling up on upon inactivity. Or after X seconds have passed, instead of making them leave upon um, being full. Well, if we're doing direct miner into train, how's that going to work? Because they're actively being filled until they're full. But if you don't fit all wagons on there, then then, then you're just going to have empty cargo wagons on the train? Yeah. Then what's the point of having them? It gives us more versatility for getting for bigger and smaller patches. Okay. If you are playing with Moz, you aren't playing vanilla, so like. Um, it's pretty close to vanilla. It's pretty damn close to vanilla. Like, pretty much, I think everyone almost will agree that RSO pretty much counts as vanilla at this point. They should have just even agree upon that. Yeah, they should have made uh, vanilla include RSO a long time ago. <laughs> and as far as Clustorio goes. I still think it counts because it's not like we're just spawning items out of nowhere. Like, we're actually having to build this stuff. It's literally the same as playing Vanilla World, except we're just spreading the load on multiple computers instead of one computer.
I mean, I, I'm... Okay, thanks. Hmm? No, I just uh, actually made the flip flop thing work on the first try. Oh, Amazing. Nice. Well done. You're spawning the world as needed to give you exactly what you need. How is that different than just starting a vanilla world like to play on with what you need? Like that's why there's map settings, right? Yeah, but the difference is we can do it 20 times and get what we need for 20 different things. But yeah, I I kind of it's borderline, but I don't think it's actually <laughs> Also we've all of us in this chat have done several hours of solar purgatory and we do not wish to repeat it. Yeah. We didn't do that the first time. Like if you're just tuning in, do I not can wish see why to you repeat. think that. But there were multiple worlds that weren't like this, that had cliffs, that had water, that required tens of thousands of landfill that people have spent tens of hours doing. So it's not like we just spawned like a creative world from the get go. Technically, you cheat a little on moving the intermediate products. Well, I yes, guess. we we do that. <laughs> yeah, you caught us. We are aware, but that's that's kind of we we have to do that to spread it across the servers. But we have limited limited ourselves to a very small space to do that. So it's not like we can just make an entire server and exploit the instant transportation everywhere. Yeah. It's very small. Plus, we have actually been enforcing the rules of banning people that are specifically making use of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for inter-server teleportation. Yeah. But if, if you were going to look at all the servers and try and piece them together uh, and using those 400 by 400 squares uh, in the thing, you'd need quite a lot of dimensions to fit the world together with all of the points overlapping. <laughs> Imagining you will actually transfer on a server, you would actually transfer the item from one point on one server to the same point on another server that has a get input chest. Uh, the maps don't line up at all. We're, we're skipping a whole lot of transport. And that's the only cheaty thing about Plasterio is probably it's way easier to hook different production lines together than it would be in vanilla. Mm -hmm. But that's basically what you're replacing. A lot of a lot of transportation. The biggest example is probably water. <laughs> yeah. Water out of a cloud basically. Well, it's the same like having water fill or water wells, which is quite handy and honestly yeah, but you still... some degree I don't understand but... why there isn't some tech to drill into the ground to get water. But that's my personal opinion. So. Because when the Russians discovered water underground, it's quite deep. <laughs> like five to six miles deep underground. Well, I will stop complaining once we get actual good dynamics. Like, not realistic fluid dynamics, but effective fluid dynamics. Put it that way. Yep. Uh, I think what they're getting at is that with a single server, only one map spawn will not be perfect for everything by setting a custom terraform world designed for each task. You optimize each task is not necessarily bad. Just think you have a terraform this world. Right. But the only ones that we actually terraform for a specific task is mining and now the, uh, and, uh, and now the power worlds, like all the other worlds weren't designed for like a specific I mean, they were spawned, like they were set up for a specific thing, but they weren't like terraform. Like, they still had cliffs, they still had water, they still had resources. They, I mean, the only ones that were actually very finely tuned for what we needed was mining and now the power.
If anti-rain don't use RSO, it's a mod. Well, I don't play... <laughs> How? I mean, that's just like saying... I mean, you can't just base... You can't just base something off of what a speedrunner does. Like... Um, that's exactly what I'm doing, Sunken. I'm just looking at a factorial level, which is just the data of the level, and it's just full of nulls. Yes, but at least Factory can handle a null. Yeah. Is that worth news? Somebody died watching uh, Avengers. That's like... Yeah. Really? Tragic for him, but I would assume that... It's a selling point for the movie. It's so good, your heart will literally stop. Yeah. Mm hmm I would assume that a lot of... Uh, yes, this is a mining server, and thanks for the follows, guys. Um, Neon Crab. Kemen Maldia as well. Play without mods, that is how I like it, but I enjoy watching people play with mods. It's a great playthrough and plus story is interesting. Please don't think I'm not. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a matter of opinion, I guess. I'm not saying RSO isn't a mod, but I'm not, but what I am saying is that I don't think RSO is a mod, I think, that, like, shouldn't disqualify you from being considered playing vanilla unless you're speedrunning, right? Like, anybody who plans to actually build a normal base that, that, like, that, that knows about mods probably uses RSO. I would say it's almost majority majority of players would consider RSO to just be better or spawning. So they so I mean you you know, it I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't have a valid point. Yeah, I should use my admin legs. I forgot about that. Um, resource spawner overhaul. It changes how resources are generated and and I would say most people's opinion generates resources far better than vanilla does um, in many different ways for multiple reasons. I mean, you can tell that it's pretty much across the board a more accepted and I shouldn't say more accepted, a um, heavily used mod by the amount of downloads it has and the fact that like every major base posted to like Reddit and stuff is mostly using RSO because it just generates resources better than vanilla does. Where's the mall, dude? I just ran straight past it. Fine tuning a few worlds seems reasonable to me. Most of the worlds are standard, which leaves enough challenges. Think cluster as one huge world, you would find a reason your world that is appropriate for what task you exactly. XBZ. That, I mean, that's how I look at it. It's like the world, in fact, Torio is infinite. It's pretty much the same. It's just having one huge world, um, except that, you know, you don't have one 800 megabyte map file because you searched so far to find it. Um, I need cliff explosives is why I came back here. Because there's cliffs. See? Still have to explode cliffs. You're using it to completely change map generation G patches at spawn is clearly not vanilla. Well, sure it is, Bilka. You can just move your spawn a thousand, you know, 10,000 chunks out and you'll have that in vanilla. Like, what's the difference? Can every RSO tuned world be sufficient? Self-sufficient. If so, it's fine. All says is a better railroad. I'm not sure quite what you mean, Sonder. Prevents mixed, like having 
Um, it doesn't prevent that. It doesn't do it as much, but it just generates like more, uh, just like smooth, like um, more uniform ore patches. It generates them spread out better. You can actually fine tune it a lot more than you can in vanilla and, and actually have it like do what you want. I need way more stations in this. That you moved it. But it's still the same result. Like. Chat's trying to trigger you. I don't mind. I like arguing. I enjoy it. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, we're still going to play this. Have a blast. I'm still going to consider it the biggest mega base ever built. Regardless of what you guys think. Both engines have 50k in the network. Let me check something. I have a very, very bad. <clears throat> so you might as well use infinity chest being to train to the same result as miners except not at all bilka <laughs> like this is like i've had other people like colonel will comment this it's like people don't understand how this works apparently It's the same result in terms of, like, how long it would last, but infinity chests are just, like, like forever, right? Like, they don't require power. You just spawn them in for free. Like, sure, your patches are obscenely rich, but you have to actually build the miners. You have to actually make the miners. They actually require power. They will actually stop if you run out of power. You know, it's like, sure, in terms of actual resource, like, amount, it's probably equivalent. You know, when you have a billion patch with 500% mining productivity, but it's like, it's not the same thing. <laughs> you know, you still have to, like, build the stuff, you know. It still stops working if something goes wrong. That's entirely different than just throwing down a bunch of creative infinity chests and, and putting them into trains. Like, that's not the same at all. Power streaming trails are free. Everything is free. So basically what you're saying is, then, everything's free, so why just play the game at all, right? Just load up creative mode, and that's just all you play? Like, <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying. Feel some are trying to trigger me. Whatever. I mean, it's... Like I said, I enjoy arguing. I enjoy it when people make comments that are just absurd and make no sense, and then I get to yell at them. <laughs> they put stuff into the chest and nothing happens, right? And it doesn't record. No, nothing comes out of the get chest. If it puts <laughs> stuff in the put yeah, chest, yeah. it yeah, disappears, that's... actually. Yeah, that's, that's a key issue. Yeah. It doesn't appear to be connected to the network. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I know what it is. I've messaged the owner, but... Yeah, he's actually said he's gonna be away for a while, so... No idea when he will be able to do it. I feel that uh, it would be kind of sane for everyone to make a service account on all their servers, so other admins could actually go into the servers and fix stuff, if needed. Yeah, it seems that way. Dear God, what are you, sensible? <laughs> uh, just the idea of having 10, 12, whatever, separate admins <laughs> having to be online at the same time to do maintenance seems... I'm glad, I'm glad you asked somebody else and not me whether... 
I agree there's a parallel between making ore patches spawn super rich near spawn and using affinity chests instead of miners. I'll be back. In some ways. But it's not the same. The amount of ore you have available is probably about the same. The method that you're actually getting it right. is entirely different. Hey, Gear, what's going on? And uh, Rizar, thank you for the sub. Twitch Prime sub, I appreciate it. Everything's still mine, everything is built, it's fine. Only extra rule I would have liked to see is only ore science get to be moved around servers as opposed to anything. Yeah, I think that could be changed for sure, Sonder. Um, I do think that, though, with that, then I'll be back. Clusterio wouldn't have much point because if you still have to make everything on just like the same world except for ore, um, and science that you would still just lag out super soon. I mean, the whole point of this, right, was to build a base that one computer couldn't handle. So if you're if you're still limited to like one or t like one computer importing ore and exporting science, you're pretty much kind of limited to the same thing. Now with this minor spacing, I may need to change this. And Sparky Lincoln, thank you for the follow as well as chick, chick, uh, chickens, chicken asserts, I think. And thank you for that host as well, Gear. How long are these trains? Um, well, the actual ones are going to be 10 and 30. Uh, I'm just, I, this one's shorter. Um, we're going to be using the other ones, but I just did this for spacing for the miners. Makes each world more of a full factor instead of higher special. Yeah, I, I agree. Ish, you know, you're just pretty much just going to hit the same bottleneck you would. Which server are you guys on, Fluffy? Still on uh, the mining one? Yeah, we're on Higgins. Yeah, I'm still on the mining one. Yeah, Higgins right. me. Making one of my patented overbuilt rail systems. I say that because most people have restraints. What's the use of that? Mm -hmm. Normal people. I'm not jumping on that one. <laughs> Do you really think they are normal people? <laughs> I think it's on a the factory what, what, server. What possibly? are those people you're talking about? They might be here by accident. People? People are just on here by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Exterminate has one or two normal viewers on his stream. Huh, kidding <laughs> Thinking, me? what the fuck am I watching? Yeah, they're just... <laughs> <laughs> you should offset It's the same sense of morbid curiosity you get for pulling your own skin off. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure... Isn't that what I'm doing? See, that's what I'm doing. Thank you. Why, why are there only nine logistic bots in the system on Higgins Moon? Because ten would be too much. Clearly. <laughs> and thirty would be not enough. Yes. That's normal. I'm gonna insert a couple of hundred, unless someone screams very loudly right now. Do it.
<clears throat> Don't want to bully X7 and his viewers. No, please bully them. They're being jerks right now. Just getting the 100 uh, logistics must take time. Still not sure about it. So you're not trying to do a JD and you're not going to turn around and say to your viewers, if you, for the low, low price of one hour of circuit pack, obligatory want to join, come and join. <laughs> come now, get, get, get to it. Also, don't forget to visit our Patreon. Yeah. No, 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 he needs to promote his Patreon. Comment, like, and subscribe, please. Hey, that, that thing literally runs this whole shebang. Sure. Yeah, we don't have enough. Are you sure you don't want to make the train longer, extra? Well, there it... Like... What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's important that the trains have a standard size so they can be emptied more easily or something. Oh, yeah, but... there is a standard size. It will be longer. I was just doing this to line up the miners. Ah, yeah, ah this sorry. This train won't be here. Right, right. Just need to connect a rail to this and send one and see if it will work. Um, ten thirty seems kind of long, though. Well, considering they're meant to be able to lay across an entire ore patch with just the carriages. True. Yeah, you can see why I'm doing the 1030 now. And you really do need about three wagons per locomotive to get maintained maximum speed. Or at least that's the rule of thumb I've done by. Um, do you really need beacons? Yep. How to connect to your service? Um, you need to apply to the whitelist, Luca. Um, if you want to join. My vision would be appreciated. Thank you. I forgot. Um, I apologize for that. I need to run back down and get some night vision. Uh, and I'm going to also go get a snack here really quick, guys. Uh, hopefully, when I get back, this rail will be magically connected. If not, we'll go ahead and connect it. And, uh, and yeah, so these, these beacons aren't required, but they do help fill the train up quicker. And that's kind of what we want. We just want really high throughput. Now this coal patch, man. Holy God. Um, but Luga, you can apply for the whitelist in my Discord if you want. Wow, we are really good on plate and science. Something must have stopped. Something must be broken because I haven't seen science sync up here. Well, of course I can, but... Do, do I want to? That's that's the point. Uh, question is that. Do I really want to? How much do I want to? Well, you're talking about it. It sounds right, like you want it a lot. I'm going to go grab a snack. I'm well, trying to convince minutes. myself, I guess. I'm so bored. I'm shooting trees on the end. Do you want it enough that we can use it as a legal defense in the court of law and we force you to do it? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I can really answer that to maintain my freedom. We both know the answer is yes. We do. Uh, I'm going to do it. I like the font that I found uh, to make the China sign, so I'm going to keep building on that. If I had the China blueprint, which I don't. China! China, 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 China. No, no it's not, not China, it's China. You're not culturally inappropriate. Or inappropriate, that's the word. I'm just quoting Trump. You're China! Doing it wrong. No, no you, you're both doing it wrong. It's China. China. You have to do it with a really weird accent that makes people look at you like you're stoned. Or retarded. Or both. Allegedly.
<clears throat> so who looking who's looking forward to the 2020 election where Terry Crews is going to run for president of America? Is he? Might as well. We're already in the idiocracy. And he's pretty good at the role. I mean, he did it once before. It's an amazing movie. I never know, uh, knew it was a documentary. Well, I really have to thank America for making England look like not such an idiot after Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they try to help out where they can. Hey, they're get, they're uh, taking a pretty good stab at it again. Didn't you have some sort of uh, elections in the British council elections? They're quite unimportant. Because realistically, councils have very very little power over here. The main thing is, which party do you want to take the credit for the local potholes and being or not being fixed? Mm. Well, those are the important questions. Mm, yeah, but that's about all the power they actually do have. For a moment, I wasn't sure if I'm on the tracks or near the tracks. I need power armor to so keep it three. So, um, exterminator, what have you found so far? The pantry, apparently. <laughs> okay. I was asking about iron, not your waistline. He's not here to defend himself. Because he's raiding the pantry. Ah. Uh. Well, there's 1.9 jiggers. Do we have here 2 point? Oh, this is 2 .8, 2 .9. 2 .8. 3.3. Oh, 6.5. No, uh, actually, they are counted as one patch. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, good. Um, is it? Intended this that this stacker is too small, and mm, stacker is too small. That stacker should be long enough to fall, uh, to full to fall. That's what I meant. No, the one at the bottom. The long one. I will run towards it. There's also some rail disconnected. Oh, that one where it's just gone massively. I don't know what's actually happening with that one. I've that? not done anything with that train system whatsoever. Stone, 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 stone. They're all stoned. Oh. Uh... Which smelting world's uncapped? I haven't a clue. Basically, they brought in a shit ton of stone and are waiting to unload said stone. <laughs> Held by the fact that, well, there's probably more than enough stone cloud. But if they are uncapped stone thingies, then there is probably. Oh god. 
What does oh, he have to do gosh. with this? Would you take a look at or patch, uh, the stone patches that I currently mined, bot mine at? Uh, where's this patch? Uh, a bit north to the north east of the stacker where I'm standing. There's also one southwest that I just noticed. It's using active provider chests for bot mining. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is just going to. Can you get? I have PTSD from Moria with active providers with mining because they totally wrecked a whole copper mining. Uh, station. Wait, the active providers or the passive providers? And... Someone put, someone changed all passive providers for active providers, so bots filled all uh, story chest with copper, so everything just, I don't know, filled up. And it was a pain to tear everything down and... Ugh. Miku was run over by a locomotive. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about you answering Blooper. So, Blooper, why are you trying to yeah. recreate Exterminator? Uh huh? Run to? It's not here, so... No, we... Nico was run over. Nico, yeah? why are you trying to recreate Exterminator? Because Getting he's not here. Locomotives he's trying time. to do stuff with oil. Train wrapped up. Stuff happened. You deserved it. It's because okay, Exterminator okay. is not here and we miss him. So we're keeping his memory Someone alive. Someone needs to be killed by trains. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa, what? <laughs> Are you guys plotting so... against me already? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Someone's doing it for you being killed by a train. As an homage. As as a replacement. Wow. So I go and grab some nukes and nuke that stone mining or what? <laughs> Am I officially allowed to do that? I, I... Not everything can be solved by a nuke. I think that problem can be solved by nuke quite effectively. Just like ground bouts. Mm. Yes. I don't want the rail ting the tainted rail to exist. <laughs> I don't want the active provider chest to exist, and that's a legitimate concern. Since when do we need them? That is true. Um while I was gone, did the uh power worlds happen to get done? Nope. Yeah, I put them on, but for some reason I can't connect to them. So I'm debugging what the fuck is happening. Okay. Did maybe, you know, some, uh, did... maybe someone try. It's uh, the name's Lud. Did you uh, li get the message? That, did you get the message that uh, Zern isn't having output in the get chests? Yes, I already messaged the owner of the server. It's the issue with the uh, master key. We our master key for the server has changed. So, and he wasn't around to change it. Uh -huh. Oh, shucks. I'm in, I'm in Lude. Uh, which world is that supposed to be? Come on. It's a power world. You know, it's got bugs, right? Is that intended? Yikes. We'll have to do some nuking. Did someone connect to Lude? Yep. Yeah, I'm did. in Lude. Oh, okay, so it's working. It's just probably me not being able to connect you to some plug shenanigans or something like that. So, I ask again. Am I allowed to nuke that stone mining and rebuild it? Why haven't you Serve already done it? Server quit the game it. and loot. 
Yeah, yeah it's a good idea from I'm restarting it in proper production mode. Ah, cool. Is that the solar world or is that the nuclear world? Nuclear. I'm putting. Okay. I have both ready. I just uh, gonna put them into production mode. And... So if anyone else wants to join the fun, I can hold my back. Myself back Where? for a few. Uh, nuking the stone mining on. Why nuke it? Higgins moons because oh, it's yeah. made with uh, provider chests. I'm fine with it. Give provider chests. Does do we have okay. um, the that, nuclear build that handy? That... Yeah, we should have a UPS use? efficient one upload to the most servers. Okay. Yep. Just just use Ragan's uh, build. Oh, Blue hey. Cat, when you get on, can you have a quick nose to the train station I made? The new one. one. Which one? Um, it's the really, really long one. Oh, it's the 1030 don't... station. Do Ooh. double check to see if it's set up correctly. I may have destroyed some rails. Looks okay. good from a distance. So, okay, so we have two power vaults. Uh, one is named Lud. The second is named Kala Green Sturgis. Go with it. Uh, Lud is a desert waste, uh, sand wasteland. Kala Green Sturgis. I always wanted to do that. Wait, 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 we didn't choose to call it Arrakis or June. Mm, no one told me. I just okay, used fish. what. I just used what to the. Server owner gave me. Uh, Daniels Dean, uh, up until just now, each server had to make its own power, but we just updated with a, a Clustorio update where the dev for it did make power transfer doable. So we just got the power server online and are going to start working on that. Um, in fact, I may go work on that now, let these guys finish this up, because I did want to do that this stream and I only have like 20 minutes left in the stream. But uh, yeah, so power can now be transferred. Theoretically, there may be bugs. Hopefully, it doesn't totally break something in the process. And let me see if I missed um, anything while I was gone. It looked like not. This is a very long walk. I could take a train, but that usually goes poorly for either me or other trains. Damn it, game. Let me move, please. Trains are still borked? What do you mean? Trains don't go through worlds, is that what you mean? Control in train mining. Hmm? What's the verdict? Yeah, we're places passive providers. I think we're doing direct train mining. I'm sending off for iron and copper. Yeah, it's about a stone. That's why I'm yeah. asking. I don't know about stone. It's someone else's problem. Yeah, for copper and iron, we're doing direct train mining. That at these levels of money productivity, direct trains probably is the best idea overall. Whatever you do. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So oh. I hey, go and look for a nice stone patch somewhere and start chugging along or what? Someone just said the most beautiful thing. Cloud trains. Could you Cloud imagine? trains. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yes, I, want, I want to have them. Um, it's actually been worked on. Where you oh. no longer have the put and get chests, but actually just transfer the trains. That would be much more fun. Should be an extension okay. to Clostereo called Portal. <laughs> <laughs> Portalio. Now you are thinking with portals. Portalio or something. Yeah, there you go. 
Oh, no, yeah. there's a book that actually has that exact thing in. It has the Shrike, I think it's called the Shrike series, something like that. Okay, guys, check the loot and color bone charges. Uh, there should be correct maps and everything working, so you can start building there. Or do we have stone mining on other maps and don't even need to rebuild it? Next question. Since we probably don't use that much stone. Um, I think we have stone mining elsewhere. I'm not sure. I mean, there's currently a billion stone in the cloud. I'm sure it didn't all come from here. Okay, guys, I found the name for it. Hyperion. That's what the, atta the attachment should be called. <laughs> because there's a series of books called Hyperion, and they have um, stable wormholes in them they use for travel. And the way how they travel through the wormholes is they literally send trains through them. Hmm. That's so cool. They gave up on space travel, and it's all about trains. That would actually be so awesome. To the point where then they put a um, they then put a Hyperion train inside a Hyperion train. So they had a train that was made of different trains in different places. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. Yep. It's a bit of a weird read. Can't. That's Quitter's talk. Hope oh, the beacons. Blame blame the train tile spacing, man. The beacons can't overlap because of it. So I put a train in your train. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hop on one of the power worlds. I think. All right. Um, I've started setting up miner to train on this ore patch I'm at, but I think I'm gonna hop on a power world and start setting that up. So if someone decides to. Can you come on the nuclear one? Yeah, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'll come on the nuclear one. Yeah, loot. Loot, okay. Loot. Just the whole, the FYI, I'm running a whitelist command right now on those worlds, so you might not be able to enter until it finishes. Oh my god, this tech sinking, holy jeez. Is it stuck in the loop? No, but it's sinking everything that we've ever researched. Is it stuck in a loop? No. No. But it's is researching it stuck in the... Loop? Shut up. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> is it stuck in a loop? Bruh. Oh, he's stuck yeah, in a loop. Help. Yeah, help. Help. Did it just go in a roundabout? Heresy! Is it stuck in a tube? Actually... I think it is stuck in a loop. Oh. Maybe. Ooh. I think it is though. Yeah, it is. For the nuclear, for the nuclear power plants, you use the design that's already around. Oh, um. God damn. This oh is gosh. like unplayable. This is so holy shit. At least let me turn these sounds off. Is the shit oh, that stopped. holy? Okay, I think it stopped. Oh yeah, we gotta do the holy early. shit mine, mining prod is so good on burner mining drills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's nuts! I didn't even think of that. <laughs> so good. That's ridiculous. What's the current low? Uh, 581. So basically 100% over? 1000% prod. Can probably feed, uh... The beast. 20... 20, uh, stone miners with an iron burner. Mm-hmm. Right. We need copper. Is anyone setting up copper? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 11 it must be, actually. You can... Mine without any prod, one feeds one. If I'm not mistaken. What we have right now, we get... Uh, 
I'll go out early game. Hi. Have a burn of mining drill or two. Thank you. Need that get chest. So if this is a nuclear world, is there lots of water? Oh, we're importing it from the cloud. Damn. I it's more effective to import it from the cloud. I can't can join the new worlds that are in the Azure cloud. The Azure? So who wants to do speedruns of getting a git chest? <laughs> get percent. Isn't that what we're doing? Get percent. With a thousand percent. <laughs> Any percent git chest. I guess chess percent or what, what are we doing? How are we calling that category? Where do we submit it? Uh, yeah, you, you, you do notice that I literally, literally fucked your, your, you guys with the ability to get the very fast to get chest. Yeah, why? It's fine. No, no stone. Why do we need stone? The furnaces to smelt faster. There's big stones. We mine for stone. Uh, yeah, you can't turn off the roads. <laughs> it's probably enough. I mean, well, otherwise you just have to have all the people join the server at least once. Yep. yep. To get gear. I, I need a uh, copper donation. I can make one! Woo! Oh, and 50 circuits. Great. That's fun. We've got one? How does that even work? I have some coal. Oh, thanks. That's <laughs> useful. <laughs> Those were active provider chests with... Oh, God. With requesters. Um, is there a power roll that is just accumulators? No, we're gonna do nuclear. Wait, so we're not going to go with the June idea of just this endless desert full of solar? Not on this world. That's why we have another power world. He is. Hmm. The nuclear design does not seem to be in this game. I can bring it to it's, you. Give me it's a not in game, yeah. It's, you need to get the blueprint. Pretty much. Whoops! That was also the robot. Well, okay. never mind. Yeah, I'm actually gimme, gonna gimme. Pin, pin this that message with the blueprint in the general channel. Just need to find it. Stop it! I should have gone and ran off somewhere before I place this. Hoard all the materials. This username is currently not whitelisted on the server. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's running whitelisting right now. I go to the other world. <laughs> You're gonna get the same because... Uh, no! Uh, I can load it. Ha! Yeah, it's so mine! <laughs> so you can back, uh, go back and load there. Mine now. I will explore it. I claim it for the motherland, uh, for the fatherland. What's going on in this chest? Unspeakable evil. Uh, we're all fucking about trying to get it. So it's unspeakable evil. It's not really unspeakable evil, it's just Russian. All right, so um, who has the blueprint? What kind of blueprint? We need the nuclear blueprint. We're gonna use. I have a nuclear blueprint. Still scrolling for it in the history. Form of that. I think there was a very specific one we wanted. I I can bring it if I can now join that whitelist. Yeah, the whitelist processed. I have you, you already joined the other server, you are whitelisted. Um, we don't need put chests here, guys, really. 
Come you on. ain't a... You actually, you actually okay? need, you need to... Why do we need to put chests? Put the, the, the fuel cells back. Oh, the empty ones, yeah, yeah good fuel point. Cells. Because on Detroit we have all the nuclear fuel and recycling no, and stuff like that. Access. Okay, oh well, yeah. there's stuff in Detroit for as well. I know. Where the hell are these nuclear reactors? There we go. So it's in the game files. This is um gonna put a load on whatever's making nuclear parts. Yep, I I pinned the message in the Discord. I would start with the NS server. Heat pipe? Where's the heat pipe? That's all in the same row. Well, now someone removed it. Oh. Yeah, Xtrom, you can uh, actually sell your support. Guys, you whitelisted that everyone is whitelisted. So Need to... substations as well. Some requesters to get the... Oh. Well, no, we, I could, we could do the chest. Okay. Um... Which one are we using? The UPS Optimize 400 one? Yes. 460, it's actually 480 with the get chests. Thanks. How do we plan to uh, get... I see, we're just going to use the get tanks to put water directly in? Yes. Mm -hmm. so get tanks. At least on the loop. Get tank, go up like 50, some pumps would be great. Stack inserted. Stack inserters, yeah. I'm curious how much nuclear we can actually put on here before it lags out. I need some bootstrap solar. Yeah, just a tiny bit probably. No, you just hand insert the um, the fuel cells. By hand. Oh yeah, I just need to do it on like one or two. Okay, You'll so probably be able to insert fuel cells into one react uh, four reactors by hand. God damn it. Um, how do we want to do these put things? Because they won't really line up perfectly. Because they they need a pump, right? To work. Yep. So we have to use at least one pipe, right? Or two pipes? You can pump straight into it. You don't need pipe, you can use pumps. What? You need pumps, but and they don't for line up. the other one, you need an a set of undergrounds. How, how do you plan to do this? That's made an answer yet. Well, then I'm doing it my way. If no one's going to answer. <laughs> you offset them. That's what I said, which you need two pipes. And then someone was like, no, you don't need, need two any. Two undergrounds. There you go. I think that's a, the least amount of pipes you can do. We're pumping in water from the cloud, right? Mm-hmm. I like. Remember how I told you you need bootstrap solar? Um, sorry, I missed that memo. No, we're not bootstrapping solar. Don't. Why not? 
Why not you just solid? need one panel to pump a bit of water in? God. All right. It's very complicated. It... Why we don't need storage tanks, do we? Why do we need storage tanks? No, you don't need storage tanks. The cloud is the storage. No. No. It's, it's actually worse. Yeah, no yes. no storage. No it's storage. Worse. Cause with this we can do I think that's the most efficient way we can do it. It's the only way. Same thing. No, Isn't killer. These, these the are same this as is like pipe? three more pipes than you need. Or this one. Or Gryphon, sorry. Ah, uh, that's the same. Oh yeah, that's the same. I guess it just depends how you want to do it. Okay, you got the solar down. So, uh, the point I was trying to make was that these water pumps won't work if you don't power it somehow. So the uh, heat exchangers will never get any water, so it'll never power up. That's why you need the solar. Yeah. It's just the tiniest amount, and then it goes. And to be honest, you should just keep padding the server with solar outside of the square, if you're not planning to build nuclear there anyways. I because guess we why not? Marked out the square first, huh? Yep, you should. Not it. Yeah, you you also might want to consider doing uh, the yeah doing the trains because it's going to be a lot of reactors and you don't want to bots flying delivering fuel, so you maybe want to so, do something interesting either with. With train, train stations and bots, or train stations and belts, or something like that. Um, to be fair, that isn't an issue. Because you need so little bot traffic, and basically you can run... Hey, don't do... well... The, the issue is the, if you get big, big, big uh, networks, they actually do a lot of, they do add a lot of load. Like we have, people were removing robot posts from uh, solar networks, and that's just like made But those from... solar networks are three times as large. <laughs> do you think this is going to be small? Well, it no, has to fit in the four in the area. It has to fit in the four by four. That's what I mean. It has to fit in the in the area that you can place the chat, the get things. That's the biggest you it can, can be. You, you can always do trains. There's you can't get enough water with trains. I don't think for this. No. You can if there isn't water on the world outside, then there's no no need to do it in trains, and even then trains is not ideal, then it's even better to do... Actually, actually, actually who's who's an admin? I am. Yeah, uh, press the config button and push the slider to the max right. Why? 800? Yep. Now you can build in an area of radius of 800 tiles from the spawn point. So isn't that a little bit cheaty? <laughs> yes. Nexus, Nexus is, is already it... like that, isn't it? Nexus, no. Nexus is 200 by 200. 200. Why are we deconstructing? I don't know. That is a very good question. Um. 
Alien, isn't one pipe enough if you rotate the upper assembler? Huh? Sorry about completely disappearing. Oh yeah, with the pump? I'm not sure what... Chat, what are you saying? If you rotate the upper assembler... God damn it, how many... Did, do you listen to what people say? We just push the radius of the area you can build into 800 tiles. So it's an area of 1600 x 1600. So, guys... It's, it's, it's eight times bigger. This might sound like a bit of a weird one, but since we've got um, access to the get and gives, wouldn't it be better to... Yeah, we were. No, I'm just thinking about teleporting stuff inside the server now. Ban! <laughs> Ban just for <laughs> thinking it. I was thinking, shouldn't we be putting the high temperature steam into it and then using that for turbines elsewhere? Ban! Uh, you can. <laughs> because that way. High can... temperature steam? I don't know. Yep, you can't. Not for nuclear. Oh. You can do that with the regular steam, but not the nuclear steam. So, okay. get, get wrecked. Do we have uh, put electricity uh, built somewhere? For the accumulators, you mean? Yeah. Build? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't think they're building it anywhere. It requires nice satellites. Somebody, somebody would set it up in probably on Nexus, I assume, then. Um. So I actually did find a more efficient way to place these things. We'll have to move some. Or chat, rather, found a more efficient way. That is. Um, if you look at where I am, moving these, move the top assembler over and face it down. We can use one pipe instead of two. Yeah, you are. What? So we need to replace everything we've built so far? No, just the get things on the other side. I just did this side. Just move like one assembler. Oh, you did on, on oh, some okay. already. Yeah. Delete top pipe and replace with rotated assembler machine. What? Oh, somebody at this it's crafting put electricity. Seems. Wait, do we have a, a transfer thing? Yeah. Where is it? Uh, I requested one out of the cloud. Simply. Oh, someone did. Sweet. We already have 1.7k turbines built. I like it. Oh, shit. <laughs> they are meant to be expensive. Oh, wow. They are expensive. Jeez, I didn't notice that. <laughs> uh, no shit, Sherlock. But think about what we're actually doing with them. Well, I mean, I figured that costs wouldn't really matter at this point, so why bother, but... <laughs> yeah, that is quite the cost, though. <laughs> oh, it's only a satellite. Yeah, we're it's making like it's 60 10. a minute, like... <laughs> oh yeah, the satellite isn't really... Yeah, that's expensive, yes, but 2,000 accumulators? That's... That is true. Tesla better get busy. And uh, it's only transferring uh, a billion joules as well. One gigawatt. That's yeah. all you get. Yeah, we need like 20 of these per like for input from each server. For this server, we're going to need a ton of them. Oh, yeah. So this is actually insanely expensive. Yeah. Damn blue pearl. That wall you're building. No. That edge. Mojo started it. Oh, so... Huh. I wonder how Daniel did this, because, like, I'm sure he took this into account, but, like, I wonder when you place one of these put electricities, if it, like, constantly drains that much? Because, like, how are you going to force these to actually work fully all the time? 
Like, I would assume it's actually going to, like, force them to pull that much. Because otherwise... Uh, well, people tested it. It works, so... Magic? Unicorn? We'll find out once we get one place down. I can tell you that the... That the... Get uh, works, actually. Is there power in here yet, now? They have low priority, so it only pulls when nothing else pulls. You just throw that in chat, global chat had mentioned. Um, so, hopefully we can place one of the put things soon to see how this works. I uh, just, it's, it drains, it charges like a normal accumulator, pulling one gigawatt. So did you place one? Yeah, you just place one connected to the grid and it charges like a normal accumulator, accumulator but it discharges into the cloud. Is that shown in on the website anywhere? Yeah, it's energy or electricity. Uh... But but I think almost every server has built a uh, getter one so far, so it's not really building up much of a charge in the cloud. Uh, someone's going to need to work out how to limit it using a switch. Put electricity... It has low priority. It will only pull from it when nothing else pulls. No, I mean, so we don't um, create an overflow by creating far, far, far too much power. Ah, uh, you meant that one. Hmm. Don't know if Yeah, I was meaning necessary. to keep the um, power down. Right. There's a built-in limiter in the mod. Oh, cool. You really thought of everything. Oh, I guess Derp told the uh, thought of everything. Um, so when this shows in the in the on the website, what units is that in? Is that in gigajoules? Like, right now, there's 400,000 electricity. Like, do you know what unit that's in? Joules. So that's basically 400 mega... Mega... What? 400 megawatts? Okay. Yeah. Which is, like, nothing. <laughs> Comparatively. I think so. If we... The, the value in the cloud was joules, I think. Either joules or gigajoules. Gigajoules sounds more uh, like it. Yeah. Can you confirm that, uh, Daniel? What the uh, denomination actually is? Yeah, that would be great. I think he was in my chat at one point. Yeah, yeah, he's chatting on the server. So it says here, cannot execute command error string game print so you don't have to limit with p expected near T. Parenthesis is <laughs> near T. <laughs> yeah, it's mega joule. Okay, so it's mega joules. So that means 400,000 is actually uh, 400 gigawatts. 400 gigawatts? Yeah. Or gigajoules, which means basically you could run one gigawatts for 400 seconds. Wow. So, let's see. It looks like we tore up the thingy. Or no, they're not connected yet. I see, okay. Also some power in the cloud? Yep, it was just implemented. Is it meant to be disconnected right now? Uh, that's what I'm wondering. Uh, for right now, I just want to... In some situations, you can click and drag. If the ground no, is clear, you can click okay. and drag. We will need radar for that. I'll be back. So it's probably better to um, run around and do a manual drag over it. Over the entire area, the construction plan is set to filter for trees and rocks only. Oh, 
But why? Can't you just shift place the... Should, shouldn't the construction bots be, like, building stuff right now? They are. Pretty sure they are, yeah. I did it. PvP pipes. Yeah, so people in my chat are asking why only do the 2x2. Two two. I think it was determined that this build is actually the most UPS efficient than a larger reactor setup, like in a row. This one is the most UPS efficient because it has the least pipes in it. Mm -hmm. if, we were going to go for a, if we were going to teleport the steam and we could teleport this type of steam, we could make a more UPS efficient one. Right. But teleporting stuff is a bannable offense. Quick ban me for suggesting it. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> can do. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Also fluid pipes, yeah. Somehow I get the feeling we're going to need to tear up the first two to three lines we're working on and then go from the one that's been worked on in the edge. There's one being worked on on the edge? Yeah, because it's lined up with the corner. Yeah, that that is probably what's going to need to happen. Oh, 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 that one you lined up there. Nah, you can make them closer. So, you know, you know the pump has to be directly attached to the get tank. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Seriously? Yes. Yes. Well, time to redo all this. We have to tear it up anyway, right? To move it to the corner. <laughs> yep, pretty much. I did not realize that. Oh, I've really used these before. Couldn't you spot that like a minute earlier? Or yeah. five? Or like 20. <laughs> Wait, you could have checked to make sure it was actually working first. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I saw steam coming out. I figured everything was good. No, I saw else steam coming out of half of it. Yeah, well, I saw steam. I thought everything was good. <laughs> yep. I was actually wondering if... Hmm? Yes, but if you're deleting in player zoom instead of map zoom, you can do it without radar. Yes, I know that, but you can run and drag with player zoom. Um, does anyone know what the mod is called that's called that'll change the direction a section of belt is moving? Uh, I mean, you can do that in vanilla with rotating it. Maybe Upgrade Planner does that? Or belt? I don't know, actually. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to go for now, guys. I need to go a little bit ago, and, uh... Started working on power. This is pretty much what it's going to be. Uh, we do need to start pacing it in the corner, though. Uh, but this is super awesome. The power can now be transferred through the cloud, which is fantastic. If I can find it. Um, which is which is awesome. So, oh, belt reverser. Yeah, that, that would be it. So, I'm going to head out, guys. I need to go eat. Go get some dinner. Go do some other stuff. And uh, I think that's going to do it. For the stream uh, i hope you all enjoyed it was quite a bit of fun we've added power servers which is fantastic and uh, i'm gonna see who is online can one water get assembler support more than one row uh, maybe uh, but a pipe can't and since the assembler has to be connected to the pump you have to do a pipe between and a pump or a pipe i don't think has enough throughput to support both rows um yeah i will drop i'll just put all my stuff in the cloud and they'll just get it back there we go i should pretty much do it i'll keep a little bit of stuff for when i come back but 
that'll do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the subs and Geeson, Geeson for the 3,000 bits. Very generous. Thank you for the follows and um, also for the hosts and Penguin for the 100 bits. And I think that's going to do it. Tomorrow I will be streaming again, I think. Um, I should be. I'll let you guys know. And that should do it. I'm going to send you over. There is somebody, um, Board Vault. Valk is doing a charity stream with a dog cam. Dog cam can't can't buy pass that up. I was watching earlier. Uh, she's putting on a pretty decent stream. So I'm gonna send a host over to her. And um, like, I don't know. I've never seen her streaming before, but we'll do that. And uh, and yeah, take care, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, take care.